so we are going to discuss uh, uh, types of flow based on Mach number okay so suppose your Mach number is 0 and here I have taken Mach number 1 and here I have taken Mach number 5 so flow is having Mach number less than 1 so all flows less than 1 I mean Mach number is less than 1 known as subsonic flow subsonic right now if you are having Mach number between 1 and 5 that is known as super sonic okay now if you have Mach number greater than 5 then that is known as hypersonic right okay so we got three supersonic sorry subsonic hyper, uh, supersonic and hypersonic now uh, we have something else in between and that thing is if you can see here you have 0.8 and uh, here you have 1.2 right somewhere so flow from here to here I mean from 0.8 to 1.2 is actually being changed from subsonic to supersonic it is a transition phase you can say so flow from 0.8 to 1.2 this Mach number is actually known as uh, transonic flow right right transonic transonic flow and uh, let's talk something about compressibility so you know there is a point here point 0.3 Mach number is point 0.3 so if your flow is having Mach number less than point 0.3 then that will be I mean this zone Mach number that is known as incompressible flow I mean uh, we don't consider uh, like flow is being compressible we simply say if Mach number is less than point 0.3 then we say Mach number uh, flow is incompressible and uh, more than point 0.3 I mean all these flows are compressible flows I hope uh, somewhat is clear right so uh, uh, like subsonic flow and then we have supersonic flow and then we have hypersonic flow uh, in between uh, uh, 0.8 to 1.2 we have uh, uh, transition uh, transonic flow right transonic flow and in subsonic itself uh, there is uh, less than 0.3 that is called uh, incompressible flow I hope uh, you are clear with this right thank you